Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to import an HFSS design into CST Studio. To begin with, here I have a simple inset fed microstrip patch antenna already designed in HFSS. Now, we will export this design uh, with a name rmsa underscore if one dot sm3 file. Okay, let us save here. Now it will ask for acis.sm3 version. So you can select here 20.0, then click OK. Once it is done, now we can open CST Micro Studio. Here I have a CST Studio Suite 2022. Let us click on that. Once it opens, here you can click on New Template. Select Microwave and RF slash Optical. Click on Antennas then click next here you can select planar or patch slot etc then click next and here let the solver be time domain click next do not change anything here so you can simply click next here you can give the frequency as i am designing and simulating this antenna for 2.4 gigahertz let me just give the start frequency as minimum frequency as 2.2 gigahertz and maximum frequency as 2.6 gigahertz and here the monitors you can select e field edge field far field okay so then click next here you do not change anything then click finish you can see here this window will appear now you can just click on modeling and here you can click on import slash export locate the 3d file that what you have saved so go to hfss slash aedt here you can select the file name rmsa ifa which we have exported click open and locate the file dot sm3 click open you can see now the file is imported let's just click on this view and reset the view you can see this is the complete model which is imported into cst micro studio now now go to these components, select here the excitation, you just delete it. Similarly, you select the radiating surface and then delete it. Once it is done, you select here the ground and patch, just right click and assign material and color. So here select the material as perfect electric conductor that is PAC, then select OK. Similarly, you select ground and patch once again and then here go to modeling and you can select here the shape tools and click on this so solid or thickened sheet and select here inside enter the value of thickness as 0 0.035 that is the thickness of the copper and then click OK. You can see now the sheet is thickened you can rotate and observe. Now select this patch and double click here and you can see here there is a thickened sheet. So here just click outside and click OK. You can observe now both the patch is extruded out and similarly the ground is extruded out here you can select this ground and then you can observe here the ground is also extruded outside and in between there is a substrate now the next step is to assign the waveform for the excitation to do that let us click on this modeling and select picks here click on pick face just zoom this and you can see here uh, for the feed there is an edge selected just double click there now this edge is selected now you can go to home and click on this macros here you can see there is a solver and under solver you can see there is a port in that you select here calculate port extension coefficient once you do that automatically the width of the feed is selected here and the thickness of the substrate is selected in the dimensions 
and the type is micro strip line here we are using a micro strip line feed and the material the substrate material epsilon r is shown here 4.4 once you confirm you can just click on calculate now here you can see the extension coefficient is calculated and now we can construct the port from this figured face just click on that it will take some time for generating so now i think you can see at the background there is a red color appearing that indicates that the port is created now click close you can go to this view just reset the view and you can see now a port is created which gives you a perfect impedance matching now finally we have to go for simulation and here you can set the field monitors so since we have already taken all the fields there i am not going to touch this and i will simply close this one it will ask for the monitor with this name e field 2.4 already exist you just click yes now click on this setup solver and you can see here the accuracy to appear as minus 40 db and then you can simply click start now the simulation started and it is updating the results now the simulation is completed now let us go to view the results so for that let me just click on this 1d results and here you can see the s parameters just double click on this s11 you can see here the antenna is resonating at 2.4 gigahertz you can just click uh, marker you can select a marker and you can see here at 2.4 the s11 is minus 11.474659 db similarly you can also look into vswr graph here just double click here and you can see the vswr at 2.4 gigahertz is 1.72795 which is well within the 1 is to 2 ratio now moving on the impedance let us look at the impedance at 2.4 the impedance is 81.664135 it is showing so it is not a good match but still uh, we can improve it further then we have the 2d and 3d 3d results so here you can go for e field you can see here at different frequencies at 2.2 gigahertz this is a e field at 2.4 this is the e field and at 2.6 this is the e field automatically it has selected three solution frequencies here similarly the h fields you can see here this is the h field at 2.2 and then at 2.4 and then we have a 2.6 here moving on we have the far field results here you can see the far field result at 2.2 we have this is the radiation pattern let me just uh, click on this view and uh, put it in the reset view we can see here uh, at frequency 2.2 the directivity value it is showing it has 5.101 dbi then similarly at 2.4 we can see here the directivity is 5.551 dbi and similarly at 2.6 we have 6.02112 dbi suppose if you want to see the gain you just right click here then click on this uh, far field port properties here you can choose the 3d in the general and in the plot mode you can select here instead of directivity you can select gain i triple then click apply you can see here the gain is getting updated now the value of gain is 2.658 dbi at 2.2 gigahertz similarly you can do it for 2.4 gigahertz you can see 3.571 dbi as a gain similarly at 2.6 it is updated as 3.0 32 dbi so this is how we can easily import any hfss design into cst and we can do little modifications as shown in the uh, video and you can uh, simulate the results 
for your further processing that's all in this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share to your friends thank you